Hello, my name is Nakaya Young, and I would like to share with you my story um, as to how I became to um, pursue a career in geography. I applied and I was accepted to go to the National Trust for Historic Preservation in Charleston, South Carolina. It was there where I did historic preservation projects, and I was able to use GIS, even the little bit that I knew, to kind of map um, some projects and some environmental justice issues that were surrounding them. So it was then that I was like, I think this is what I want to do. And best of all, as any college student, I was able to make a decent amount of money where I was actually able to pay for my tuition. And I was able to have all of these wonderful opportunities. And what I appreciate most is that I didn't have to work at the mall or do menial jobs. In college, I was able to actually do what I was going to school for. Um, by this time, I had transitioned into majoring in geography and sociology. So I was able, I was doing everything I was learning about in school and it made a world of difference. And so lastly, um, I ended up graduating. Um, from undergrad at the height of the recession. I'm originally from Michigan, and so I was not able to find an employment there. But however, because of my geography skills, I was able to find employment within 90 days in Nashville. And it was with the Nashville Planning Department where they needed a GIS technician, and I was able to come and work and have a salary position with you know, government benefits. Later, I ended up transitioning to become a GIS planner for one of the, at the time it was like the 20th fastest growing county in the U.S., which was the neighboring county. And I was able to finish my uh, master's degree as well, and I had a GIS-based dissertation. And then lastly, I ended up going back to Tennessee State University to work with their HBCU, which stands for Historically Black Colleges and University, um, their partnership with HUD under the Office of University Partnerships, where I either teach GIS to um, high school students. In addition, I also map um, energy efficiency improvements um, for community development projects in the Nashville area, and I'm able to work with some graduate students with that. And finally, I will close by saying I ended up deciding to pursue my doctor's degree this fall, uh, which I'll be majoring in urban planning and environmental policy, and I'll be focusing a little bit on GIS once again because I think everything comes full circle. I realized um, the support that I had from outstanding geography professionals that I was able to have a lucrative career, and I really want to work with students to kind of help them um, get to the point where I was able to make it, you know, never being without a job, always having an abundance of opportunities um, at, at all stages of my career. You know, even when I was, you know, you know, kind of moderate or advanced or whatever, I was able to find a career in all aspects of the field. And it, it is also really good to say that you know, in some respect, I'm a rarity as well. You know, not many people pursue these careers at a such a young age and have all of the success and all of this, you know, this luck and all of the support, which I'm really, really grateful for. And so I encourage anybody to pursue a career in geography because there, there's so much opportunity. There's so much opportunity. There's so much support. Um, and there's so much range. You know, all of the work that I've done and all the projects as, I, as I've gone down the list, none of them have been monotonous. It's been pretty much optional. In what direction I want to take, I'm able to do that. I'm even able to do side GIS consulting projects to make extra money if I'd like, or just to become a part of a great research opportunity because, again, I offer a rarity and people don't turn down spatial analysis. There's a need. People can have research out the ballpark, but if you can't show and prove and what I like to say, um, paint, a, paint a picture for people, they don't get it. And so mapping helps people understand that. So um, thank you so much for listening to my story and um, hope that you'll hear more from me in the future as far as I go. Thank you.